Hello everyone and welcome back to my English space. Today I'm going to teach you how to use past continuous. To kick off, why don't you just answer my question? What were you doing this time yesterday? Well, if you ask me, yesterday at 1 p.m. I was making a fruit salad. And here, the action I was making, yeah, the verb I was making, shows an action in progress at a certain time in the past. Yesterday at 1 p.m. So, just imagine, it took me a little while until I finished it. Let me carry on. So, I was making the fruit salad when my friend called. What do you notice here? Um, I was in the middle of making salad, you know, peeling and cutting up all those fruit when something happened. My friend called all of a sudden. She called all of a sudden. What did I do? I instantly put the knife down, grabbed the phone and answered her. I know, she interrupted me, but after our conversation ended, I just picked up from where I left off, yeah? I got back to making my salad, so I got back to my salad. Now, what's the use of past continuous here? There is this continuous action of mine, yeah, making the salad, I was making the salad, which was interrupted by a shorter action. My friend called, yeah? So that was when she interrupted me. And past continuous here expresses the longer action, while past simple expresses the shorter action. I hope you got it right. It's not that hard, is it? And you know what? While I was making the salad, she was roasting some beef. Yay! Isn't that just great? I thought to myself, why don't you just come over and have a feast together? I instantly said to her, wow, how awesome our timing was. Don't you know what she said, huh? Of course she said yes. Now, we are talking here about two actions that happened at the same time. Two simultaneous actions. I was making the salad, yeah, but at the same time, my friend who just called me was roasting some beef in her kitchen. So each of us was doing something in her own kitchen. I was making the salad and she was roasting some beef. That's my story. Hope you enjoyed it and also helped you to better understand how to use past continuous. Now, let's deal with the how part. Very easy. What's the form of past continuous? First of all, like with any other continuous tense, we have to have a helping verb or an auxiliary verb and in this case just as with present continuous it's the verb to be of course but to be in the past simple which is was and were yeah so we need to have was or were plus the verb in ing yeah all continuous tenses take ing now when do we use was and were? Was is used for I, he, she, it, while were is used for we, you, and they. Good. Now let's take the verb to sing in the affirmative. I was singing and he, she, it was singing. Then comes were, we were singing, you were singing, and they were singing. Pretty easy, right? For the negative, we will have to use wasn't and weren't plus the verb in ing. Wasn't is the short for was not, 
weren't is the short for were not. My friend wasn't making a salad. For questions, all you have to do is change places. Yeah, because we've got a helping verb. So let's use it in the first place this time. So was or were plus subject and verb in ing. Now, I have this question for you. By any chance, were you baking a cake yesterday at one? And we're done. Now, let's see if you got it right. So, time for a quick recap. Past continuous has therefore three main uses. One, action in progress at a given time in the past. Two, a longer action interrupted by a shorter one. Three, two simultaneous past actions. There we go. To further demonstrate that you've understood, I challenge you to write a paragraph with all three uses of past continuous. Be sure to include the following keywords. Yesterday at plus a specific time, when and while. I'm sure you'll do great with a little effort and concentration. Stay active in your English learning journey. Make sure you subscribe with notifications so that you make a habit of learning English with me. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I'll see you again in my next one. Bye for now.